Hey guys, Mr. Irish School 123 here, bringing you another Warhammer video. And today I thought I'd showcase my orc army that I have so far. It's still a work in progress, but all the models here I hope to have built. Well, they're all built, primed, and fully painted. And we'll see about painting, but, or based, by at least 30 days. So I kind of want to set a challenge here. So, we'll go ahead and get right into the army. So, so far, I have 22 orc boys, which is two packs of 11. This group is primed and started painting. This group hasn't been primed yet, but has been built. Everything here is all I have, and it's all been built. So, you can see all these front row and that guy back there have been started to be painted. And this guy right here... It's actually the only one that has been finished. And if you want to see exactly the paint scheme, just go see my last video and I explain it all. So next we have five orc knobs, which you can see here. I have three of them with power fists. This guy has two axes and I have a, um, not sure what gun that is. It's some like rocket launcher or something. But... Um, I usually run with a, this group with at least, like, two power claws, and they're, like, a meat shield for that guy back there. We'll get to him in a second. And I just have one cool detail I wanted to show you guys. You see here how they all have these little, like, posts on them to show their knobs? Well, this guy here with the rocket launcher, I decided I would go ahead and I drilled these two Space Marine helmets um, a hole through them and put them on top of his helmet, kind of like to show his, how many, like, kills he's gotten or sergeants he's killed from a group. I thought that was kind of neat. Just, uh, just a little detail I added on. And then finally, well, we have a little ammo run over here that's built, but he doesn't really count. Last but not least, we have an orc war boss with an attack squig. And a twin link big shooter. He's um, of course he is fine cast, and I was, I'm actually I don't really like fine cast because this guy totally broke into pieces a few minutes ago, and I had to glue him before this, so that's kind of annoying. But he is my leader for now. I'm gonna get more, try out different guys and different things I can add on to him. But I usually run him in mega armor, so that I get a power claw. And a twin link big shooter, and a two plus save. Give him an attack squig and a, um, I believe it's called a cyborg, cyborg, um, body, for like an involm, and run a meat shield with these guys, like I was saying, and he can wreck, cause when he has this attack squig, it gives plus one attack, with a power claw. He has like four attack base, one for the charge and one for the attack squig. That's six power claws swinging and could potentially wipe out like half a unit because it hits on threes then wounds on anything but a two or I think yeah that's how it is and so it can completely wreck plus if I get two power claws in this unit I can wipe out a unit fairly quickly so I like that so yeah this is my whole orc army so far but like I said I don't really play many games with it just because of course you need more boys otherwise you're kind of screwed but I am getting the orc uh, battle box here shortly because I have some money saved up as well as some primer to prime all these guys but then I'll have that comes with like 20 orc boys a truck for them uh, war bikers which is nice so that uh, well that won't be in the painting thing I'm challenge I guess you could call it that I'm doing just these guys right here so I'll make another video when I've made some progress and show you guys how it's been so anyways make sure you guys like the video if you did enjoy it tell me what you guys think I should add on to my army and improve or some good upgrades for any of these guys and of course let me know what I can do to make these videos better and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.